And now for something completely different. So you might be asking yourself, why would we shoot 20 films in 20 days? Well, trust me, we ask ourselves the same thing. It was not easy, but it was a challenge. That's the first thing. And it was a creative outlet. It's one of those things where when you have limited resources, it can actually make you more creative. And so not only was it a great exercise to challenge our filmmaking skills, we learned a ton as well. Now the films were not all narrative. They weren't highly structured films. Most were experimental, some were narrative, some were documentary style, a couple were epic B-roll, but they were all self-contained short films. Now, if you haven't seen these, they're in a playlist on our channel called Shortcuts. I'll link it in the description as well. Keep in mind, each one of those short films was conceived, shot, and edited in just one day. When we first started this channel back in 2012, we were really centered more on straight up technology, gear reviews, apps, that kind of thing. But over time, we've segued to be more about storytelling and technique, which really ultimately is what this technology does for you anyway. So summer of 2017, we did our first iPhone short film called Casey's Favorite Song. Not related to Casey Neistat. It's about a 13 year old girl named Casey trying to record her favorite song off the radio back in the early 80s. We shot it on an iPhone 6S with the Moondog Labs Anamorphic Adapter. We made a lot of mistakes, but that's what this is really all about. Making these films, learning from your mistakes, and getting better the next time out. Then earlier this year, we made another narrative short film called The Unicorn as an entry into the Moment Invitational Film Festival. Each project we've made, we've seen improvement. That's one of the reasons we do this channel. We are filmmakers. I've personally made several feature films, digital series, and I direct and edit and shoot commercials. But I love iPhone filmmaking, the freedom it gives you. It's amazing what you can do with a camera you carry around in your pocket. But no one cares about the technology when they watch your movie. The technology is just a means to an end. You're trying to tell stories with this tech. Hello? and telling good stories, getting better at your craft, that takes practice. And putting all that together, taking everything you've learned to become the best filmmaker you can be is really what we're all after. Take your smartphone, your iPhone, doesn't matter the brand, and make a short film. Doesn't have to be a true narrative, it could be an experimental. There are no excuses, there's no reason to wait.